Hello, my name is Valentina V and welcome to 4 Minute Film School. Today we are shooting an outdoor nighttime car scene. Yes, we are doing Drive, John Wick, James Bond. We're gonna take it from looking like this to this. Let's go. For this episode, I'm actually not the cinematographer. The cinematographer is Natalia. Hello. Tell the people who you are. My name is Natalia Moscoso. I'm a cinematographer in LA. Emphasize on music videos, commercial, and narratives. And today we are going for this hit woman. She's coming out, getting into the car. She opens the glove compartment, gun. And then she's like ready to go. The first thing I think about is where the camera is going to be. If there's going to be movement, steady cam, dolly, sticks. For this one, we're going to try our doorway dolly, which we need space for our car and our dolly track. We've got some six foot straight track. We're going to put our doorway dolly on top of it, camera on top of that. And we're going to have a dolly grip to push us as we're handing with our movement. So we're adding a curved piece of track to the straight track for the doorway dolly. It'd be nice to, you know, have that movement of going round and then we go straight into our talent. Because if we start here, we don't necessarily like see her. We're kind of like showing the car off first and then we sort of see her, right? Yeah, it kind of starts like a BMW car commercial yeah, yeah, yeah. and then up to And then like badass assassin gonna like and like you're done. Sometimes uh, when the track isn't level, uh, what can people do to level it? What grips do is they'll plant a bunch of apple boxes of different size, full apples, halves, and just make it fit so that we have a nice, even ground. If we go over here with our first AC KC on the Focus. KC! He brought his own tilt nucleus it's gonna be pulling focus on these vintage Nikon lenses that we have paired up with our digital Aria Alexa Mini. We also have the tear deck going, so we have a wireless feed out to Casey. We have a wireless feed out to Video Village. Not too far to go from the video to the village, honestly. As far as lighting, what are we thinking? Because right now, obviously, it's still technically daylight. The lights are about to go down, so we're trying to get everything set up as much as possible. So our key light is a Nova Aperture. It's all the way up there, stuck up on the combo stand. It's shining directly down into our car here where our talent is sitting inside. And that's just gonna ping her a nice sodium vapor on her right. And we decided to go sodium vapor because we're trying to do like a street light emulation. The good part about this car is that it has a sunroof, which makes lighting this a lot easier. So our gaffer, Stephanie, who's a genius, saw that the light hitting her face was a little bit too harsh. So the solution was just splatting on some opal frost here. We put it in between the sunroof. The water is actually holding it down and then the rest is kind of tucked in here. Like you said, putting a diffusion here, it's gonna be either visible or dangerously high with the wind pushing it. I will say it's kind of perfect because it has this like lip here in the front, which actually hides it. So when we're in the front, we don't see it at all. It's just the perfect car to shoot. Genius. Behind us, another Nova, tinted green. Just to fill our subject in, not have it you know, completely go to black, so we'll have information. We're doing a giant source here just to have the light kind of spread evenly throughout. Hit different parts of the car here. The front, you can see, is getting a little pinged by the green. Why choose green? I feel like green doesn't exist in real life. There are no green lights that are just up. You know, John Wick vibes. I think just complementary colors here. It kind of makes me think of the indoor piano scene in La La Land where they had the green out the window. Yeah. So we didn't want our fill light to be too harsh, so we decided to go with a book light technique, which is when you have the source, you shine it onto a bounce board and it shines back through more diffusion. So this is actually a really interesting way to hang up diffusion because it's not on a full frame. It's on some speed rail with a baby pipe clamp into a combo stand. Easier to not see reflections, especially for our car here. As we go to the right, we are crossing in front of the source. So if the source was smaller and less soft, then you'd really see that movement from our shadows. It would really play in the lighting. But because it's a big soft source, see I'm waving my hand around and it's not affecting her face at all. And then on the bottom here, what do we got? On the bottom here, we have an eight by square stock. It is a windy day, so this is gonna be blowing at us. So by adding the square stock here, it weighs down our diffusion and it stops it from kind of spinning everywhere. The sandbag here is also holding it. So like the rail doesn't jam at anyone either. It's all a safety thing. We love safety. 
So to add a little bit of texture to this wall, we have this three hundo here with the spotlight mount. In front of our spotlight mount, we have a CTO gel. So this is a little warmer because we are playing with sodium vapor grain. CTO is definitely acting a part of our color palette here. And I also think that we added a gobo into it because it's giving us that little cucaloris pattern. It very much is like a tree pattern and it could be that maybe there's like another street light out here shining through a tree. It's casting onto that. So it's still like realistic. Yeah. Last but not least, our 300D with just a standard reflector. So we definitely wanted something to give us a little edge. We watered down our windows here on the car. So this light is actually reflecting that water. It actually has a nice color contrast because we have the sodium vapor hitting and we see a bunch of orange, but this actually accents the water. So it's a nice color contrast and making the water stand out more on the windows. When you're shooting at a real location, in this case, this is a real house. You have things like these house lights and they're actually on, but we put some gaff tape on them to shut them off and make sure that none of this ugliness is playing on the wall. That way, all the lights in our scene are the lights that we brought, are the film lights, they're all purposeful. These are just mixed, 86, right, proper terminology. We 86 them. I like this. This is pretty badass, and I like this too underneath. So maybe, maybe just, yeah, maybe, maybe this option right here. Yeah, that combo looks great. Just in general, when I'm picking out outfits, number one, I don't want anything that's too black, and number two, nothing that's too white. Because black is gonna absorb all the light, you're not gonna be able to see the person, and white is gonna reflect it. It also helps that the brown is a little bit leather, it's a little bit shiny, so it's really gonna reflect off those lights. We also know that the car is going to have water on it, so that's gonna play really nicely in the scene. So the filter that we have in front of our lens right here, standard four by five size, and it is a low con filter. What does it do? What it does is it brings literally the contrast lower, retaining the shadow information, it's an exterior night scene. There's a lot of dark areas in our frame. That's a great filter for use. That looks good. Let's actually roll on it. Amazing job. Thank you, everyone. That's a wrap. Woo! All right, that was it. That was our shoot outdoors for this gritty, moody car scene. Our main point of focus for the lighting on this gritty shoot was how to use color temperature to convey that sense of danger. That brings me to my common question, how do you convey a sense of danger through lighting? Write it in the comments for your chance to win an Aperture MC light. Our social media links are down below if you wanna follow us. You should give this video a thumbs up because I feel like it's really good educational content. See, the thumbs. Subscribe to the channel and until next time, happy shooting. Moses, well, come into here. Let's, let's have a little powwow. <laughs> Up, so, so Moses' mask and Natalia's shirt match, and I'm wondering if that was on purpose. Cut him up, made a mask, made a shirt. Sold it on, yeah. uh, it's an NFT now. <laughs>